Were you looking for a video where you could learn all about the endoplasmic reticulum, its structure and function in just under 10 minutes? Then you've come to the right place. I'm your biology expert Aishwarya and I welcome you to Baiju's 9th and 10th grade channel. And in this video, we will start learning about the importance of cell organelles and then we will move on to learn about the structure and function of the endoplasmic reticulum and how there are two types of endoplasmic reticulum and what they do. So let's get started. Now when we talk about the cell, we know that the cell is the basic structural and functional unit of life. And when we look at all cells, the basic components that they include are the cell membrane, it includes the cytoplasm, and of course we know that it includes the nucleus. And now of course we know that based on the type of nucleus, there are two kinds of cells where we have prokaryotic cells and we have eukaryotic cells. Now we see that eukaryotic cells are those cells which have a well-defined nucleus. Now apart from this being a differentiating character, we also see that eukaryotic cells tend to have membrane-bound cell organelles. Now this is a very very important feature of eukaryotic cells. So what do we mean by membrane-bound cell organelles? Now we see that the cell has the ability to carry out various activities, right from producing energy, it has the ability to synthesize certain components and get rid of waste material. Now on a larger perspective, if we look at us human beings, we have different body parts which can, which can do a similar kind of function, right? Whether it is to produce energy or whether it's to get rid of unwanted substances. Now at this point, we see that the cell in itself is able to carry this out. And they're able to do this because they have certain small, tiny, organ-like structures which are present. And we call them as little organs or we call them as cell organelles. So these organelles perform important functions within the cell and they are bound by membranes. Now in the cell of course there are various kinds of cell organelles like we have the endoplasmic reticulum, we have the Golgi apparatus, we have the mitochondria, we have lysosomes, ribosomes, we have centrioles, plastids, so many of them. But today of course we are going to focus on one such cell organelle which is the endoplasmic reticulum. Now if you were to look at the structure of the endoplasmic reticulum, it looks something like this wherein we see that they are made up of a large network of membrane bound tubules or we can say sheet like structures. In some cases we also see that they look like long tubules like oblong or long tubules or bags which are there. Now if we were to talk about the function of the endoplasmic reticulum in general, it actually carries out multiple functions. So first and foremost we observe that it functions as a skeletal framework for the cell or what we call as the cytoplasmic framework. So it provides a cytoplasmic framework for the cell and we also see that it allows or the surface of it allows for certain biochemical activities to take place. Now apart from this we also see that it serves as a channel for transporting various materials like proteins between the different regions of the cytoplasm or between the cytoplasm and the nucleus. But now of course we see that there are certain parts of the endoplasmic reticulum which carry out specific functions. Now if you look at the structure in closer detail, right, you see that the full endoplasmic reticulum does not look the same. We see that there's one part of it which has certain structures on its surface and the other part of it which is devoid of anything and it looks quite different from the other side, right? Now this is because there are two kinds of endoplasmic reticulum where we have the rough ER and the smooth ER. Now the rough ER, let me show you a bigger picture. This part that you see right here, this is the rough endoplasmic reticulum. Now why am I calling this part as the rough endoplasmic reticulum? What is the reason behind it? Because we see that there are certain structures which are present on its surface. And these structures what we observe are ribosomes. Now ribosomes here are very very important. And they are another kind of cell organelles which are either found bound to the surface, right? So we find them bound to the surface of the ER. Or we also find them freely floating in the cytoplasm as well. And this is something that we find in most cells that are there, right? We see that this is whether it's a prokaryotic cell or eukaryotic cell, we find ribosomes. Now, the important function of the ribosome is to synthesize proteins. They play a key role in protein synthesis, which means at the end of the day, the major function of the rough endoplasmic reticulum is to synthesize proteins. 
Then on the other hand, we have some which are smooth in surface, right? So now if you look at this particular region, we see that there are no ribosomes. The surface appears smooth, which is why this type of endoplasmic reticulum is called a smooth endoplasmic reticulum. Now, what is the function of the smooth endoplasmic reticulum? Now, primarily we see that it is for the synthesis of lipids and it plays a key role in producing various components which are necessary for the cell. And they play a key role in membrane formation also. Now, when you talk about membrane, let's go back to the cell membrane. Now, we know that the cell membrane is made up of lipids, right? Because we know that it has a phospholipid bilayer. And we also know that there are various proteins which are present. So, these are two components. Now, let's revise back and think about what the ER produces. ER is producing protein, ER is producing lipid. So, at the end of the day, we see that the lipids and proteins which are synthesized by the ER are necessary for the formation of the membrane. And we see that it is transported to another cell organelle which is Golgi complex or Golgi apparatus which will then act as a postman and transport it and help in formation of cell membrane. So technically this formation of membrane is what we call as membrane biogenesis. Membrane we know is an outer covering. Bio means living. Genesis means to generate or to form. So helps with formation of membrane. So in your examination, they will majorly ask you about the functions and the role of the smooth endoplasmic reticulum and the rough endoplasmic reticulum. And they may or may not ask you the major functions, but it's important to know the structure of ER, its function. And when you learn about smooth ER and rough ER, you need to again know its structure and function. So with this, of course, in just under 10 minutes, we have learned all about the endoplasmic reticulum. So here's a quick homework question for all of you. Differentiate between SER and RER, that is smooth endoplasmic reticulum and rough endoplasmic reticulum, based on structure and function. And I request you to write two points each. So with this, of course, we come to the end of this particular video. Now, if you like these short videos that we do on our channel, then you need to hit the subscribe button because Baijus 9th and 10th is a place where you get premium quality education. And nowhere else will you find such amazing videos done with the best visuals possible. Which is why for all of you who stay subscribed and who want to know how classes happen on the channel, here's a quick timetable for all of you. You can take a screenshot of this. And as you understand, between 5 to 8, or I would say from 6 to 8, you have classes regularly every day. So with this, of course, I will be signing off. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to hit the subscribe button. Do not forget to like this video and let me know in the comments below what more you want from us. I will see you soon. But up until then, everybody, take care. Lots of love and bye-bye.